Hey guys, it's Matt Hardicke here and um, welcome back to another video. I wanted to try and do something really fun today with Chase, something he's never done before and there's two things that he still hasn't done that I've been dying to do. Uh, so we have a walker here and we don't have many walkers in Australia, it's not really common. I'm not sure if it's too hot there to leave a horse in a walker or we don't really use them, it's not part of our culture, uh, obviously within riding. Uh, but I wanted to try chasing the walker and see how he goes because it's something we have here, I would like to use it a little bit more. Uh, but I'm also not sure how he's going to react, so I wanted to get that on film and kind of see where that was going to go. And my horse has had this obsession with Shetlands ever since I got him. I don't know why, uh, but when, as soon as he landed uh, here in Holland, Ava came by uh, and she's got a Shetland. Uh, and Chase was instantly like mesmerized by her Shetland. Uh, but he hasn't actually had one-on-one -on -one time to play with them. He's always met them over a fence. So I want to give him time today to meet uh, Macho, see how they kind of interact in the paddock and see how that goes. Uh, but you will have to wait till the end to see um, that happening. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get Chase. We're going to give him a brush. Uh, yeah, so just arrived. He's going to be helping me. Uh, we're going to get uh, Annie as well. Uh, she's going to show Chase how to get on the walker first, how it kind of works, and I think it'll be a bit comforting having her in there as well. Uh, and then we're going to put Chase in and see how he reacts and how it goes. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it all goes well. Uh, so let's go get him now. We'll get him from the power, give him a quick brush, put some boots on, uh, and then we'll head to the walker. So yes, is here now. Uh, we're about to go get both horses, uh, but before we do that, we're going to turn this on uh, with a sprinkler on because otherwise it's going to be quite dusty. Uh, and yes, is here to help because I've got no idea. <laughs> okay, so, I'll turn it on. So we're going to turn it on. Yeah, press this. And the water is from down here, right? It's not going. No, 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 it's this one. It's going. Oh, it is going. Uh so this is the one that makes it wet. It's coming over here right now. So we're gonna get the ground a little bit wet, uh, getting ready for my slim, thick horse. <laughs> uh, so if Chase decides he doesn't want to move, which hopefully he will, and I don't have a doubt about it, the metal poles inside actually have can be electrified uh, if you turn this on. Uh, but hopefully we won't have to get to that, and I don't want to do that, do that either. Uh, so let's go get him in the field, we'll get Annie as well, and let's see how he goes. Okay. Don't let go. Chasing a beast What do you do? Ooh. Don't go Chasing a beast What do you do? Ooh. Ooh. I gave him a quick brush. I'm just gonna put some boots on uh, because I don't know what he's gonna do in there and I just wanna make sure his legs are fine uh, just in case anything happens. He doesn't step on himself or doesn't hit anything. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna go ahead, uh, and head down to the walker. But first, uh, boots are a priority here. She remembers. Yeah, so let's turn it on. I'm curious to see what even like reacts, how he even reacts from that. Um, I want to get. We're just gonna spectate for a second. And uh, usually a walker is used just to exercise your horse either before, after, or even on its own to cool down, to warm up uh, for different things. Um, and I'm not sure how I would use it yet. I think more as a cool down uh, for Chase. So let's see. So Andorra's in here now, she's just in one of the bays and you can put four horses in here <clears throat> but obviously if you have horses that are sensitive to each other you'd probably leave a bay in between. Um, so let's see how she goes. She was confused the first time, she kept having the things rolling over her um, but once she got the hang of it she was fine. Honey! Oh! Honey! Honey! <laughs> <laughs> Sad. Good girl. Chase wants to follow her, which is good because this is going to help once they start rolling because I'll probably put Chase in the bay behind Annie. So. He's, he seems confused. He's confused. We've got to... 
So Annie's gonna pass us now, and we're gonna go in the next bed behind us, so Chase will hopefully follow her. Uh, but I'll walk with him at first so he can get used to it a little bit. Uh, and then we can we can have a look how we go. So I'll just turn him around now. Such a big step. No. And then there's you saying you wouldn't use it. My horse is usually pretty chill though, so hopefully we should be fine. Okay, put her up to 100. <laughs> Make me I'd like to see Gallop. <laughs> Make me Gallop. I want to see you run. <laughs> Good boy. Is she ready? I think so. Oh. And the uh, walker, of course, you know, you don't just walk one way, we're going to start going. Uh, but oh, oh. <laughs> Annie. Annie. Annie's not. Okay. She's fine. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, he seems to be doing fine for now, which is good. Uh, but he's also not been too close to the um the, the back divider, so let's see how that goes. So Chase was a bit nervous and getting a bit excited in there, um, and he actually uh well pooed. And I didn't know this, but I found out recently that a horse only, I don't know if this is obvious, but a horse uh, usually proves when they're excited because it makes themselves lighter uh, so they can run away from a predator or from anything that's scary them uh, because they are flight or fight animals. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that. So basically, if your horse is anxious at a show or getting on a float or anything like that and they poo, uh, it's just so they can be faster uh, when they've got to run away from anything that they're scared of. Okay, I'm going to turn it off now, and then he can like squeeze out, and then we'll see. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. You just do it by yourself now. You've got the idea. You'll get it. He's usually a pretty like, oh no. <laughs> this is already heading south. <laughs> Good boy. Chase. Oh no. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> He's found a, a little bit of grass along the way. So I'm not sure if he's understanding that this is meant to be exercise and not eating time. Um, oh, oh no, oh it's no. gonna happen. Oh no. Woo. Good boy, woo. Woo. Oh, uh, he's a little bit confused. Good boy. Good boy. Oh no. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Yes. Chase, come. Yes. Up. Good boy. Ooh. Ooh. A little bit faster because Chase seems to be running very close to the divider. So we're going to speed it up a little bit for him. Oh, Annie. Oh, shit. Annie. <laughs> yeah. These horses are just... This is a trotter, not a walker. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Oh. Can you imagine if you can't destroy Annie? 